I've been waiting to make this video for a really long time. We now have the ability to give away courses for free as lead magnets to people who sign up for our email list. And it's made possible with a recent update to Thrive Automator. So let's dive in and take a look at how this works and I'll walk you through the entire process. All right, step one is going to be to create a form. Now, caveat, this method works when your lead gen form and your Thrive Automator are on the same site as your courses. So if you're using a subdomain like I am, you're actually going to need to use the webhook method, which is also only now available as of this exact same most recent Thrive Automator update. And I have a tutorial coming out after this video to show you how to do that. So for this video, again, to recap, you need to have Thrive Automator, Thrive Apprentice, and this lead gen form on the same site. So with that out of the way, let's go through this. First, we're going to create a lead gen form. And this step's actually really easy. We just open up our element tray. I like to search for lead generation and drop the form on the page. You can make this look like whatever you want. You can put this on any page of your site, footer, top section, bottom section, sidebar, it's up to you. For the tutorial, we're gonna keep it simple and we're just going to keep this simple form here. One tweak that we need to make to the form is with, with the form selected on the left-hand side, go to advanced. And I like to give the form identifier a more recognizable name. So for example, uh, this one would be, let's just call it lead gen course test. There we go. That way we know what we're looking for later. And then nothing else needs to change in terms of APIs or anything like that. Instead, what we're going to do is if desired, we're going to choose where the user gets redirected after they fill out this form. So let's think about the flow. The user fills out the form, they get an email, they log into your site, they access their free content. So I think the next step that makes most sense here is to redirect them to like a confirmation page, which you've probably seen a hundred times when you sign up for free courses. And on that page, just tell them, check your email, this is coming, etc. So what I would do, I would redirect to a custom URL, and then I would just enter in the URL of your confirmation page or your check your email page, something like that. So once you have that set, you're actually done. You can just click save work and we can move on. Okay, so step two, we're going into Thrive Automator and we're going to create our trigger action sequence. In the upper right, let's click add new. And the trigger we're looking for is form. So I'll just start searching for form and we're going to say form submit. And we don't want it to always trigger on any form on our website. We want this to be for a specific form. And this specific form is our lead gen course test. There it is. So find your form and then click done. Next, we wanna add another action. Here's where the stuff is new. We have find or create a user. This is so cool because this allows the Thrive Automator data to basically pass deeper or further down the stream in the automation. This is actually totally new because previously this condition would actually render an error because the grant user access to a course, or in this case, a product, actually never worked. Cause it would just stop. It would say, well, user filled out the form and even if I added a create WordPress user in here, it would error out because it would not associate the same data with the course. Kind of a weird technical issue. It just basically didn't have access to the WordPress user data. But now with this new feature, we do. So we can say, okay, what role should they be given? Subscriber is the role that I use on my site. Click done. We'll click add another action. And for this, we want to grant access to a product. And this Thrive Apprentice product will be the free course or free product, in which case you could, this could be a membership site and you could be giving access to a free resource or whatever you might want to be protecting. So we're going to search our options and I'll just say, pretend that my Thrive Apprentice to Master course uh, is the free magnet here and I'll click done. Now I could stop there or I could keep going. I could say, well, I also, when I give them access, I want to tag them inside of my autoresponder, my email marketing tool. So I'm going to add another action and I'm going to view all actions and I'm going to tag in my autoresponder and I use Fluent CRM. So I'm going to tag them in Fluent CRM with a tag that matches this particular lead magnet. Now, why would you do this next step? Well, think about it. You could just enroll them or give them access to the product and then they could be on their merry way. They'll get their email that says, here's your credentials and that's it. But if you tag them, you can put them into an automation and the automation can then follow up with them several days later and say, hey, I hope you enjoyed that free course. Did you know I have more premium courses or 
Did you know I have a membership? Things like that. So if you want to do this step, this is how you would do that. And then you can choose a tag. Now, don't forget in the upper left hand corner, give your automation a name. You could call it something like lead magnet and then course name. It's typically what I do and hit enter. Don't forget to toggle it on to publish and then click save and finish. Great, there we go. We now have our published automator automation. We're not yet done. Inside of Thrive Apprentice, this is step three. We want to go to settings. We want to go to email templates, new account created, and two things we want to do. We want to make sure that the checkbox at the very bottom for when a user registers and creates a new free account, check that because we want this email to go to them. Now, just a reminder how emails work here. This is sent by your website by Thrive Apprentice in a way to your user to let them know their login credentials. So you can customize this and this is what I say in mine. I say, welcome to Convology because I treat my whole course library as an entity, right? Whether you get a free course, a premium course or my membership, you're still in Convology. And so I say your account's ready to go. You need your login details, et cetera. Here they are, it automatically gives them login credentials tells them how they can log in, gives them a link to the dashboard, and then it says, you know, if you have any questions, et cetera. So typically this email works in tandem with your autoresponder email sequence that you may or may not choose to send them. Once you have this customized, you're ready to go. Just click save template. Okay, let's test this. I wanna show you how this works to kind of come full circle for you. So we have our form. I'm gonna put in my name and an email, and I'm gonna click sign up, and my form's not gonna go anywhere because I didn't tell it to. So the data now should be inside of Thrive Apprentice. Well, two things should happen. This user should be in Thrive Apprentice, which I'm gonna show you, and I should get an email. Okay, here we go. The user was added and here's the access that they have. And that's it, they're in. Now you might be wondering what happens if this same user with the same email address tries to sign up for, let's say another free lead magnet, or even better, let's say they actually like your content and they wanna join your membership and they use their same email address. Well, what's gonna happen? Well, let's jump back in and look at Automator because this part's pretty cool. Do you remember this do this section where we said find or create a user? Well, if you look at this tooltip, and I've confirmed this, basically, if the user already exists, it just matches what they're getting access to with the account that was already created. So essentially, they could go through your Thrivecart or your WooCommerce user funnel. And what's really cool is that it just adds on the access. And when you go back into Thrive Apprentice and you look at their, their access card, it's the same user and you'll show that they have access to the free product they signed up for and your paid product or your second free product that they signed up for. So I'm super excited about this. It actually has deeper ramifications than just what I showed you. And that has to do with the next tutorial coming out all about how you can enroll users in this process using webhooks from third-party tools. So the exact same flow works with third-party tools and not just a Thrive form on your website. So if you're interested in checking that out, definitely look for that here on the channel. There's so many cool things happening with Thrive Apprentice lately, it's sometimes hard to keep up. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'd be happy to try to help you out. But that's going to do it for this tutorial. I'm Doug from Convology, and I'll see you in the next one.